talking about is the fact that we're living in a day and age where you see people sitting out games to prevent injuries. They're not injured. They're preventing themselves from getting injured by sitting out games. Michael Jordan played in at least 78 games a season. In 12 of his 15 seasons, nine times he played all 82 games. John Stockton, 16 times all 82 games. Carl Malone, 10 times all 82 games. Michael Jordan, Gary Payton, nine times all 82 games. Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, five times. Kobe Bryant, four times. Why didn't they do it? Because it wasn't just about them. The NBA in a flashpoint, perhaps with rest just elective rest screwing those of us who buy tickets to games those of us I don't buy tickets to NBA games for this reason also they're super expensive so not only are you not going to find the person that you want to watch playing but it's super expensive this is interesting to see a daily sports thing news narratives takes gambling took a week off did some family stuff going on and I just need to take a week off and now I am, I'm back, and the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs are in the Super Bowl, which everyone has pointed out the last time this happened, 2020 happened, and the world has kind of not been the same since. Also, not to freak anyone out, 2020 was also the last time Punxsutawney Phil predicted an early spring. I remember distinctly people blaming the groundhog. They blame the Groundhog for all of this. The NHL All-Star game happened over the weekend, and the winner of the show were were Canadian singers Tate McRae for being a badass and Michael Buble for saying this. My buddy told me this is just a microdose of mushrooms, and he was lying. So I'll be honest, I thought I was in Blades of Glory for most of the time that I was out there until it sort of settled down, and then I realized, holy shit, I am at the NHL All-Star Game. What a guy. (laughs) Sitting up there next to Will Arnett at the NHL All-Star Game. It looked like everyone was having a good old time. I don't know. All-Star Games are weird. The Pro Bowl happened over the weekend. It was flag football. Watching the the freak athletes do freaky stuff is cool, but that's, that's about it. Caitlin Clark is a superstar. Iowa women's basketball is outrating the NBA uh, in some circumstances, not like huge NBA teams, but just like boring, you know, nationally broadcast NBA games. Caitlin Clark's beating them. Let's watch her get a ridiculous three-point play. There she is. Uh huh. Four-point play. So what's happening here? We'll break it down. She's knows she's going to get fouled, but she wants the shooting foul, so she just hucks up a shot to draw the foul to get three free throws. But she is who she is, so it just goes in. Oh, that's bananas. <laughs> Watch, 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 foul. Fouling her, but I, I agree with the officials. I think Caitlin quickly. Did she get it up? I think she did. I think she got it up. Man, she is, she's out of control. Let's go to some NFL news. Adam Schefter uh, in some hot water this morning. Why? Well, not this morning, I suppose. But the reason is very simple. Because he tweeted that the Chiefs and Commanders have both arrived in Vegas for the Super Bowl. Well, the Commanders aren't playing in the Super Bowl. The Niners are. <laughs> They've been dominating the news, though. A lot of rumors. The, the Commanders have now hired Cliff Kingsbury, the former Arizona Cardinals offensive coordinator. He was the OC at USC where Caleb Williams played. The Commanders making it look like they really want Caleb Williams. They trade up to get Caleb Williams, which would be really great. As a Lions fan, I would really like it if the Bears would trade away the number one overall pick. God, they're going to screw this up. They're going to screw, they have two first overall picks and they just want more picks? Dude. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes Sr. was arrested for DWI or DUI. I don't know what the laws are in Texas. It is his third strike, so he's looking at prison time. Not what you want to have on your mind before the week of the Super Bowl. His Patrick Mahomes is now his father's third DUI. That's bad. That's I mean, that's like really, really bad stuff. Third strike kind of thing. His brother is essentially a sexual predator. Never convicted, but it is on camera, so I'm going to go ahead and call him a sexual predator. Um, tough tough look for Patrick, but not, uh, not going to make that joke. Uh, the World Cup announced where the final will be, and I'll be honest with you, 
What a nightmare this is. The World Cup final, when it's in North America, the World Cup final is going to be played in MetLife Stadium in New York City. Are you joking? It's actually not in New York City. It's in New Jersey. We're going to show the world what we have to offer, and what we have to offer is North Jersey MetLife Stadium. Everyone immediately making the joke about all the torn ACLs that happened there. Don't worry. They're not going to let these rich people play on turf. They never play on turf. These It's part of the contract. They don't play on turf. They're going to take it out, and then all the NFL guys are going to be like, well, what the hell? And the owners are going to be like, yeah, it sucks to suck, dude. I don't know. They're worth more money than you, <laughs> which is kind of, I don't know if that's true. I think the World Cup makes money. The Olympics lose money, if I recall. I don't exactly know for sure. Yeah. <sighs> Man, Super Bowl week, and I'm just not as into this game as I wanted to be. Let's watch Tom Brady suck at golf, though, real quick. So here he is playing some pro-am, Torrey Pines, I think, or is it Pebble Beach? I don't remember. I think it's Torrey Pines. Watch this. Whoop. Oh, dude. No breakfast balls, man. You're one of us, Tommy. Tommy's one of us. Horrible. Horrible off the tee. I like that, though. Good for him. Good for him for playing. Love to see it. Did you know that there are a bunch of golf shots um, by professionals that I don't know if they look that stupid, but they're really bad, like multiple shots in the bunkers, flubs and duffs and garbage from really high level pros. It's just never on TV. So you got to go on the Internet and find like high level pros just playing like garbage. It's really interesting. Greg Olson is going to be kicked out of the broadcast booth by Tom Brady. When Tom gets to, to Fox, it's allegedly going to happen this year. But Greg Olson is looking at the entire spectrum of opportunities. He called the Super Bowl last year. Everybody thinks he's the best color guy in the game. So he's been very clear, like, I'm not going to be anybody's second fiddle. I'm going to look at a bunch of different options, which you should do. Everybody likes him. Is he the best color? I still think that Herb Street is the best color guy in the game. Pro, college, any of that. I, th I think so. Update in the coaching carousel, Dan Quinn to Washington. He's the D.C. of the Seahawks when they lost to the Patriots, but also when they beat the Broncos. He's the D the head coach of the Falcons when they lost to the Patriots twenty eight to, after being up 28-3. to three. He was the defensive coordinator for the best defense in the NFL the last couple of years, or one of the top three or four, the Dallas Cowboys. And now, by all accounts, he was the third choice for the Commanders. Ben Johnson was the first choice. After Ben Johnson, it was announced that Ben Johnson would be staying with Detroit. There's a he said, he said going on. The commanders were in, in the air, mid-flight, on the way to Detroit to meet with Ben Johnson and Aaron Glenn for their head coaching vacancy when Detroit OC Ben Johnson announced that he would turn the job down to stay in Detroit. Then it came out that somebody on one side said Ben Johnson thought they were basketball guys, they weren't serious football guys. And then the commanders were like, he didn't interview very well. So they're both just trying to save face. Their second choice, allegedly, Mike McDonald, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens, a former University of Michigan defensive coordinator, he took the head coaching job in Seattle. So he'll be fired in four years. Dan Quinn will be fired in three years. And who's the other defensive guy? Are there other defensive? The defensive guys are not going to make it. I don't care. Their system, they're the leader. I don't care. Nope. They're not going to make it. Unless they walk in. If you're interviewing a defensive coordinator, I don't care. I don't care. Bill Belichick, anybody. But like, hey, what's your plan on offense? That's it. That's nothing else matters. It just, it does. not defense is talent. Winning games is offense. Saban said it himself. Saban said it himself. Patrick Mahomes after beating the Ravens 10-1-1. As an underdog. Isn't that crazy? The Detroit Lions lost when C.J. Gardner-Johnson was waving goodbye to the fans. We could see everybody saw this as waving bye. Bye-bye. They were up 21-7. to seven. Um, It's a two-position game. Unless there's like five minutes left in the game, you're never... Game's never ever over at that point, bruh. Ever. Everybody talking about the Grammys today. I'll help you. I'll talk about it. One, Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs. Tracy Chapman's first live performance in like a decade or something to play Fast Car with Luke Combs, who, of course, covered it this year. Miley Cyrus got her first ever Grammy Award winner. Taylor Swift is really important and used her Grammy acceptance speech to say she's got a new album coming out, which is just unreal how she just cucks everyone. She won Album of the Year. And Billy Joel closed it down, just like every wedding you've ever been to, Piano Man. 
Piano Man Billy Joel himself closing it down. We're going to go through the Super Bowl bets later this week. Once the cool bets um, dive into it more. I think it's 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 reasonable to put 100 bucks in the game on stupid stuff like the length of the anthem. All right. Back and better than ever tomorrow.